Hey everybody, welcome to Bad Yogi Q&A Wednesday with me, Erin Motz. Today we're gonna talk about skincare and how to keep your skin super clear and healthy too. Today's question came up a bunch of times in my inbox on Instagram. I often get comments about how my skin is really clear and what I do to maintain it. This is a really interesting comment for me because I struggled horribly through my teenage years with really bad acne. I don't even like to say this because it still makes me uncomfortable. Like just talking about the fact that I used to have this problem still makes me cringe. It still makes me feel so bad. And I think anybody who has had a similar issue, anybody who's ever had bad skin before knows how kind of, this sounds dramatic probably to a lot of you, but anybody who's had that problem knows how almost permanently damaging it is to your psyche. Not in a serious way, of course, but it's something that you constantly think about. You're constantly insecure about it, even if your skin is relatively clear now. So when people tell me that I have clear skin and oh, how do you do it to keep your skin clear? Oh my gosh, I wanna say number one, I don't have perfect skin, most definitely not. When you see me on video, whether it's here or even on Instagram, I'm oftentimes wearing makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I'm definitely wearing something most days. The other thing to remember is that it has been a very long learning curve for me to figure out the right balance. Because when I say I had bad skin, I am not one of those girls that would get like three pimples and be like, oh my God, I'm breaking out. No, I seriously had like a beard of acne. And that sounds horrible and kind of gross, but it is true. Growing up, I tried everything. I took the harshest medications, I took antibiotics, I took all kinds of crazy stuff in addition to trying all kinds of prescriptions that were topical and seriously nothing worked. A turning point for me was when I started getting into yoga as a teenager, I just started dabbling in different food groups. So instead of eating lots of dairy and ice cream and processed cereal like Cocoa Puffs every morning um, and started turning towards whole foods, even foods that aren't necessarily healthy, but foods that were real. All of the really harsh chemicals that I put on my face and in my body to try to clear up my skin did absolutely nothing. I started to change my diet a little bit as I got older and wiser and I learned more things. I never went completely vegan. I never did anything extreme. I just stopped eating junk like Cocoa Puffs for breakfast or tons of hamburgers and sloppy joes and tacos from Taco Bell. So I'm gonna tell you my personal six skincare commandments. And these aren't laws, you know, these are just the things that I do with skincare in mind that I think have really helped me. So the first thing that is non-negotiable is I always remove my makeup before I go to bed. This is not a negotiation. This is all the time, every day, without fail. Doesn't matter how tired I am, doesn't matter if I've traveled, it doesn't matter. I always take off my makeup. The second thing is moisturize. I cannot tell you how long I stayed away from moisturizer thinking it was going to clog my pores and make me oilier. Now I use a really thick moisturizer. I can tell a huge difference between when I use it and when I don't. The thing with, when, with breakouts is that sometimes if you over dry your skin, your skin will overcompensate and produce even more oil because you're so dry. So don't skip that step. Get a good moisturizer and use it every day. The third thing is to use gentle products. Again, when you struggle with acne and, and the tendency is to wanna go in the direction of something really harsh. You wanna dry out, you wanna kind of punish your skin for what it's doing. Over the past few years, I've really gone away from those harsh products and I've started using all gentle products. So any kind of cleanser, moisturizer, toner, sunscreen, everything I use is for sensitive skin. Even though I don't necessarily, I'm not allergic to any products that I know of in terms of topical stuff, I still use things for uh, sensitive skin because I think we need to baby our face, you know, a little bit. I mean, we don't need to be throwing chemicals on it to, to punish it for what it's doing. We need to take care of it. We need to nurture it and gentle products is really the way to go. The fourth thing is water first. Water above everything. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I go to my kitchen, get a glass of water and take some probiotics. The first thing you drink in the morning should be water, not coffee, not juice. 
water and drink plenty of it throughout the day. Um, there's tons of resources online that you can find that'll tell you how much water you should get in a day. I don't know, I don't really care too much about the science behind that. I drink probably two gallons of water a day, which is like four liters, I think. Don't hold me to that, I don't really know. But I drink about two gallons of water a day, I would say. This is number five, but I would almost say this is more important than anything. For me, this is true down to the smallest detail. So I know, I'm positive that as soon as I go out and I have a pizza or I have the occasional gelato that I have here in France, I can guarantee you within the week, I will have some kind of breakout. It'll be small because I've, I've got it under control now but I guarantee it will happen. Same with any food that's oily or anything that's really, really dairy heavy, I can guarantee that I will break out after I eat something like that. On the flip side, when I'm eating mainly whole real foods, I can have a little bit of dairy here and there, but I absolutely can't go overboard, otherwise I will see it come out. This video is a mess. And lastly, the last thing I do is I wear sunscreen every single day. Especially if you have really fair skin and you break out, you wanna make sure that you're not overexposing yourself to the sun. Even if you're just outside doing normal things, you wanna protect your skin from the sun. It's kind of a no brainer, but it's something that I really take super seriously. So I'm putting it in here. So I kind of told you what my skincare commandments are. It's pretty straightforward. In terms of products, I think everybody is different. You have to find what works for you. Don't be afraid to experiment a little bit. I think in general, staying in the genre of things for sensitive skin is going to be your best way to go, even if you're prone to break out. Think, take care of yourself and nurture your skin and it will return the favor. So here are some of the products I use on myself. I'm going to tell you about how much they cost here in France, just so you have a comparison for what they might cost in the States if that's where you are, because they do, they are priced differently. I I have been converted. I do use a gentle cleanser, but the biggest thing I use when removing makeup and cleaning my skin is actually this stuff by Bioderma. So this is called, it's, it's literally a liquid. It's a clear liquid. It's very, very soft. It's like a water. It dissolves your makeup pretty much instantly. It seriously works. I know if you're prone to breakouts, it probably makes you cringe to think of not using soap on your face, but I promise you, this has been a better cleanser than most soaps I've ever used. So in Europe, this is like maybe 10 euros. It's a pretty big bottle. And I've seen it online in the States for like 12 or 14 US dollars. So it's not bad and it will last a long time. If I'm gonna use a cleanser, I use a brand called Avene. It is really, really gentle. It doesn't dry your skin at all. It's like a pump, so it foams. Um, that doesn't really matter, but just so you know, that's what it is. And again, this lasts me, I use this every couple days probably, and it lasts me a good four or five months. So worth the $12 or so that it costs here in Europe, it costs about 10 euros, so maybe 14 or so in the US. I don't like complex skincare routines, so I don't use anything else that's fancy. I don't have a toner and blah, blah, blah. The only other thing I use in terms of like cleansing my skin is I do use pure rose water. So after I cleanse or I remove my makeup, I just dab this on a, a piece of cotton and just kind of give it a swipe. It smells nice. I feel like it kind of mattifies a little bit without drying out. This is super cheap on Amazon. I think I got three bottles of this for like $12 and it lasts forever. In terms of moisturizers and like things I do after I cleanse my face, I found this one at a perfume store, oddly enough, even though it's not super perfumey. Here in France, it's from a company called Fragonard, which is a French name, I'm saying it the American way. And it's a royal jelly cream. It's good for your skin, it won't make you break out, I promise. Don't shy away from moisturizing, even if you're prone to breakouts. And lastly, so this is kind of my vain attempt at finding the fountain of youth, okay? So I am almost 30 and I decided recently that I was going to start taking care of the skin around my eyes. If you are curious what I use for that, um, I use, again, the brand Avene. This is called a Physio Lift and it's specifically for the eyes. 
I got this like a month ago and to be honest, I don't know if it works. It might take more time, who knows? This is totally preventative for me. But again, this brand is known for being really gentle for sensitive skin, so that's why I got it. If you're curious for things like that, I think this is a really good one. That's that, wow, what a super long Q&A today. Anyway, that's my skincare routine. I hope this satisfied your curiosity. Um, of course, I do wanna know how you take care of your skin. If you are prone to breakouts, what are your favorite products? products. Um, you can definitely let me know in the comments below. I know we all could use a little bit more advice in this area. Thank you guys so much again for joining me, for hanging out. For all things Bad Yogi, make sure you head to badyogi.com and sign up for my free list to get free yoga classes, Q&As, and a bunch of other stuff I only put in email. I will see you guys right back here next week. Have an awesome rest of your day.